Good morning, everyone. So this is how we're going to trade today. But before that, let's understand the previous day's chart. So yesterday there was, um, you know, the market, uh, it went into buying as it capped down. Um, it formed a couple of stop losses and then started consolidating in its initial balance zone and then crashed down. Now, we made a short position out here, um, you know, and uh, with that, what happened was uh, we captured few points, just 20 points, actually, where we should have waited for this levels to be gone. Uh, <clears throat> because usually what happens is whenever a W pattern is formed, um, the market does, you know, tend to sort of like have a little bit of profit booking for the people who are getting out of the trade and then crash down again. But obviously, we did not we did not wait out here. We sort of got a little bit of fear and panic and, you know, because the premiums were not moving so fast and we exited the trade. So that is something which we'll have to learn because profit booking is a skill is a, you know, um, skill which we have to sort of like master anyhow because if we don't do that then it's going to be a big problem for us in the future um, it's gonna give us um, because it the thing is like it'll just give you mediocre returns you know you will be winning all the time but on the losing days you know it, the hits will be heavy so how are we going to trade for today how i am going to trade for today is basically i see a round key number at the 44 500 level we've come to a very nice support out here so what could happen is basically the market could do a professional gap and start moving upwards but what mainly we want to identify tomorrow is a buying trade because all i see is like these sellers were sitting on top you know idle um so what we're going to do what the market would ideally want to do is basically create a situation where these sellers have to exit the market so this is what we're going to aim at tomorrow. It's pretty simple plan, you know, in case of a gap up, <clears throat> that's what the plan is. I don't think it's going to gap down. If in, also, in case of a gap down, then I will wait for a while for it to, you know, show me some kind of um, positive movement and sustenance over the 45, 44, 500 levels. And then I will take a long position. I don't think it's going to gap down that much in case of a big gap down, then obviously things will change. Uh, then we'll look at other scenarios, but um, I don't think there would be a big gap down tomorrow. Um, Nifty is pretty much showing the sh same chart. Uh, as you guys can see that, you know, there was a little bit of buying which was done at the end. Some buyers are there. Um, also, there are sellers on the top at the 1917, uh, 19800 levels and 19850 levels. So there is a good res support on the 19639 uh, levels and 19590 levels. So there are no direct stop losses as such. <clears throat> Some buyers out here, but that's hardly anything, you know, uh, we have to be worried about. Um, so in case of a gap up, we are going to go into a buying trade in case of a gap down as well. Um, we're going to look, you know, let it let it come to these support levels and we're going to check out how we can initiate a buying trade. So in case of both the scenarios, I I'm going to identify a buying trade tomorrow. Let's just quickly see um, the support and resistances for Bank Nifty. We have a resistance at 44,900 levels. We have a round number of um, 45, um, uh, 4,500, which is also acting as a resistance out here. And then we have another resistance at 45,200, which is also, if you guys haven't noticed, is these days at the, the 45 or 44, the 200 uh, mark is acting as a round number these days. So the, all these uh, are uh, heavy resistance out here. But uh, yeah, I think the market would go into buying tomorrow because I'll tell you why. Out here, there was a buying done. Out here, there was a certain buying which was done, um, you know, so we know that uh, the market is, you know, has some money inside the trades as well. So we want to sort of look at um, a certain halt somewhere down the line. So yesterday it could like, you know, today um, on the current trading day, it could come for these stop losses and then pick a direction later on. So yeah, um, simple plan. Let's go for a buy trade.